to the Camper Pros channel. We've got a new little setup here for our demonstration display stuff. We have a lifetime battery. I'm hooking this battery up. We're going to do one of those little uh, cheap setups so you can have a ton of power for a cheap price. This is one of the minis right here. They sell the minis. It's like 100 amp hours, but I think it's like $250 on sale, something like that. It's a lifetime 100 amp hour, but it's a mini. See? What I did is I put a charger on the top, a 10 amp lithium charger. It's only 10 amps, so you run it all night and it charges it. But I, it's got a handle, so you can just go like this, put a little 10 amp charger on it, and you're done. You can put a cigarette lighter adapter on it. You can run a DC fan all the time to keep you, keep you cool in the summertime, and that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm using it for. But it's pretty cool because it's so freaking small. Look at it. It's 100 amp hours right there. Who says that I can't just take a cheap Pure, it's a pure sine wave, but it's a cheap one, an Odyssey, okay? It's an inverter. Who says I can't just go like this, strap that onto that battery, and now have 120 volts anywhere I want? Who says I can't do that? I'm into this for like 250 for the battery, because it's uh, a mini, the, the newest type. $200 for the inverter, and I think the charger was like 50 bucks. $550. This has the power of something that costs fifteen sixteen hundred dollars for 550 bucks and you don't have to do the inverter thing that's just throwing it in there in case you guys want to do that so you can plug stuff in who says on these terminals you can't just easily take a cigarette lighter thing put in here you can plug a cigarette lighter thing in, or put some um clamps you can clamp stuff on here for dc like a fan anything and what i do is this thing right here it's just a, this is just a cheap stuff it's not expensive stuff guys you just plug this right in here and it plugs into the wall and you can charge it. And this is this is 10 amps, a 10 amp charger. So yeah, it's gonna run all night to charge 100 amp hours. It'll take 10, 10 hours, right? Because you got 10 amps going into 100 amp hour battery. But who cares? Slow charging's better. Bam, there you go. So under 500 bucks, you can make this set up, get a cigarette lighter plug in or put a little inverter. You don't have to put a big one, you can put a smaller inverter. And you know how they have those power packs jump packs you can buy they're all over the internet now i got like four or five of them they're nice but the best bang for your buck is doing it this way because those battery backups are very expensive for, i mean those battery banks power they call them power banks are very expensive i'd rather just do this get a mini on sale you can get it anywhere you don't have to get it this company i just prefer this company and then you get a charger you could silicone on top. You could put it in a box. They have the boxes pre-made for like 90 to 100 bucks that you can throw this battery inside and it has quick connectors. It has cigarette lighter plug-ins. It has everything. Lights, has everything all in one. You just buy the box, you dump the battery in it. In it. You put some styrofoam around it, whatever you want to do to cushion it. And you have a bigger backup. For some reason, this is like all battery we're looking at, you know? So instead of converting to DC, like for people that don't understand what I'm talking about, instead of converting it to something that you plug in, you can buy, that's AC, you can buy DC stuff like, think about batteries, DC. So you can buy like a DC fan, like this big, and you plug in a cigarette lighter and then you can bring this around, which you just carry it around with you anywhere you want. Um, so that's what's really cool. And, and don't be afraid to take these batteries and carry around like this, because in here there's a BMS up top, a computer, but in here the cells are really not really, usually next to the walls. Usually there's a little gap. So you can slam it on a corner here. It's not really going to hurt it. Heck, you can even hook, you can get a thing that goes right here under these terminals, just put them on USB ports and just glue it to the side. I, I, you know how I have this on here? With high-end silicone. That's how I have this on here. It's not going anywhere. And I can take that off when I want to, but it's not going anywhere. So silicone is the best way to do it, I think. You silicone it on there, silicone it right on here, and you're done. Or get, a, get like a, a nice battery, um, they're called blank cases and you they have the prongs on the top and stuff and you can get real fancy but why can, that I think they're like a, they go from like 80 to like $150. Well that's more money you're putting into it. This I can run a fan, a DC fan all summer long and be really cold. But this is going to be cool cuz I can do this one mobile. It's like a mobile battery. That's what I'm going to call it, a mobile battery cheap inexpensive backup. I don't care about fanciness. I care about how it works and how long it lasts. Lakers and Cheryl, you know you'll find us funny.